What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? I, I don't know, but I hope it was fun. <laughs> uh, uh, one or two things. Hello, uh, my name is Bob Seeley, and I have the um, wonderful privilege of being the Member of Parliament for the Isle of Wight. Now, what did you do immediately after winning your seat? Panic. Panic? Uh, practically, yes. Now, you're the sixth member of your paternal family to be an MP, apparently, and the second for the first, Isle of Wight. First deliberately to be, re uh, to be elected as a Conservative. There we are. One was elected as a Conservative is by accident, because he was in the Boer War, and he thought he was being put up as a Liberal. All the others were Liberals. <laughs> And my great 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 granddad, who made his fortune from nothing, um, Queen Victoria refused to speak to him for 25 years because he stood as a Chartist Republican. Wow. Do you have a phobia? I don't think so, no. I mean, I like spiders. You fond. like spiders? I'm quite fond of spiders. Do you have a favourite karaoke hit? I had a great evening's karaoke singing in Istanbul about three years ago. We were taking a general to Iraq, a lovely guy, he's now since retired, who's head of a brigade, and myself and a great friend called Liz, who was um, an Arabic expert, we took him to a karaoke bar on a transvestite street. And she was just a phenomenally good singer. She belted out that fantastic hit. Um, what's that, that really classic Taylor, Taylor Swift song, Love Story? And my friend Liz, <laughs> Belted out love story, and I was trying to do the backing vocals, and with this, what, and I just I couldn't even compete. What was what was this? Awesome. Was it General Brigadier's reaction? He was a brigadier at the time. Brigadiers are quite, you know, they've seen it all. I mean, you know, I think, I think the army sort of. What can I say? Yeah. Favorite TV show? I do occasionally watch series. I tend to be a sucker for the old stuff. I was probably watching in the thick of it again. Oh, uh, big thick or, of it. Or Blackadder for the twentieth time, quite recently. Well, let's talk anyway. about the thick of it. There are yeah. of many characters in there, Malcolm Tucker yeah. being one, maybe Terry Coverley as well. <laughs> Is there anyone please who God, you know not, actively please, in politics? Please God, can I not be Terry Coverley? <laughs> <laughs> who who it most resembles in the current crop, mm. Malcolm Tucker? I don't know. Oscar, am I a bit too sweary sometimes? A little bit. Okay. Let's play a little bit of word association. So I say oh, a God. word and you say a single word in response. Brexit. Help. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 Labour, much worse than us. Labour, much worse than us, but help. Do you think it's going well? There are so many more important things. I want us to get on with it and get it over and done with. And I have to say, I'm slightly losing patience with people who just do this endless Brexit navel gazing. For heaven's sake, get on with it. Final question. Yeah. What do you hope to achieve in your time as an MP? Island deal. I want my island to be the best place in Britain to live, and I want people to be writing about that in the years to come. I want it to be awesome, artsy, and young, amazing, funky, cool, like it used to be. I want it to be as amazing as it can be. And actually, I want to be respected uh, for the substance of what I do. The substance of what you do, because that's what lasts.